Welcome to the Berlin Hackathon 2012. All right, so glad to have you with us. A lot of familiar faces and a lot of new ones too, which is just the mix we were hoping for. I am Sumana Harihareshwara. You don't have to be able to say that. Um, I am the engineering community manager for the Wikimedia Foundation. And with me is Denny Vradidic, who is with Wikimedia Germany, um, and which is the co-host of this event. So uh, we're just going to have a few administrative and theme type announcements. So let's uh, start off with Denny. So. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. So, hi everybody and welcome to Berlin. I hope you had a good trip here and I hope you will have some great two days. I see the sun is coming out right now at the beginning of the event. Amazing, we even managed that. Good, just a few quick comments on the administrative. Um, you have on your tickets here, you also have on the back side actual tickets for the public transport system of Berlin. So within, uh, within basically the inner city, uh, zone A and B, which is basically where you will be traveling around, um, you have free t uh, public transport wherever you want, at whenever you want during the weekend, for today and the next two days. Um, there is a venue tour of this uh, building where we are right now. It's an old station. Um, at an old train station and it has some really nice features. It will be at 7 o'clock and it will be a guided tour. Who would be interested actually to, part of the, uh, to be part of this tour? Okay, quite a few. Um, 7 o'clock, meet in front of, um, in, in front where the, where the drinks are. Afterwards, there's a barbecue going from 8 to 10, being outside here, especially with this nice weather. Um, uh, and who's interested in eating tonight? <laughs> okay, works, fine. Um, and um, this is for the social program for today. Tomorrow we also have uh, mini golf actually organized at seven o'clock and you find more information about all these events on posters on the back and you can always ask someone from staff. Awesome. All oh, right, you have all the information also in your name badge, actually. So if you pull out the name badge and open it, you'll find a lot of information about the event that you need to look up at any time. Um, check the info, the pin posts, ask people if you need anything, and otherwise enjoy the event. I want to give a quick thank you to Sumana, to Rachel, to Lydia, to Maria, and to Nicole for organizing the event. They did a really marvelous job. Thank you very much, Denny. Um, so a few more uh, quick announcements from my side, and then we'll move on to telling you some of the things people are working on this weekend and the tutorials that you can come and attend. Um, the, uh, today, I, I, the first thing I'm gonna mention, one of the first people to ever work on MediaWiki is here today, Brian Vibber, and today, June 1st, is actually Brian Vibber Day. So, Brian. <laughs> And in con, yeah, but let's not all buy him a drink. Let's, <laughs> um, but in contrast, can I ask you to, to stand up if this is the first Wikimedia technical event you've ever come to? Thank you for coming. Um, so uh, for those people here who have any questions at all, um, if you have any trouble, if it's an emergency, you can call the phone number that's listed as a panic phone number inside your badge, and someone will help you. Please only do that in emergencies. If you have any other questions, that way is the registration desk. It will always have someone at it. Uh, maybe Rachel there, if you want to just w wave your hand, Rachel, so people know who you are. She will help you with things. Nicole, and uh, yep, other, anyone else who's over behind that desk will help you. The bathrooms are that way. So that's, that's both of them. Um, can I also ask Guillaume, Steph, and uh, Megan, Victor, or Bryony to come up for a second just to say uh, what it is that people can talk with you about? Hi, um, I'm Steph. I'm the recruitment manager for the Wikimedia Foundation. So if you're interested in working with us permanently, come talk to me. 
Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Guillaume. Uh, I do technical communications at the foundation, and I would like to communicate about what you do, whether your staff or volunteer. Um, so, if you would like your work to be featured on the Wikimedia blog, for example, and be seen by uh, millions of people, um, come talk to me. Hi, uh, my name's Victor. I work at the uh, foundation in San Francisco. I believe I emailed everybody in this room, and I apologize if that was annoying, uh, but I'm trying to find interesting people right now to put the face on Wikipedia. Most people who interact with the site see this cold text on a screen. They have no idea where it comes from, and I'd like to help paint that picture. So if you have something you, some interesting story you have about Wikipedia, I'd like to talk to you. There's going to be a couple of us, so... Uh, that's that. Go ahead and pass it to well, okay. um, My name's Bryony, a sort of similar story to Victor. I know you guys are all super busy, but um, we'd like to talk to as many of you as possible. So me and Megan Hernandez and Victor are going to be floating around all weekend. So hopefully we'll talk to you over the weekend. Thank you. All right, great. Thank you. Um, a quick note, Victor here is going to be taking photos. Also, Miguel there is taking video. And if you would prefer not to have photo or video of you available on the internet, please do make yourself known to them. And also wear one of the gray lanyards that says Wikipedia, just as a nice visible sign. That table is also for people who would prefer not to have photos taken of them. And please respect that if you're taking your own personal photos as well. Um, also, uh, this event is under the Wikimedia Foundation's Friendly Space Policy, which you agreed to when you registered. So um, if anything uh, bothers you, if anyone does anything that you uh, find harassed by or um, otherwise have a problem with, please feel free to come talk to me or any of the people at the registration desk. Hopefully, you won't have to at all. Um, now, a more pleasant item, which is the tutorials and the theme for the event. Eric, would you like to come speak? Um, and as he makes his way up, I'll just take a quick poll by hand. So there's five tutorials happening this weekend. You can attend four of them just because of the way we've arranged things. There's three happening simultaneously tomorrow, and then we repeat them, so you can hit two of them, and then the third will be recorded, so you can watch it later. And then we're gonna have a different two tutorials on Sunday, plus whatever the, the third one was. It, it'll, it sounds complicated, but it'll make sense later. Um, so of those five tutorials, just by a uh, hand, and can I ask, uh, Rachel, can you do a quick hand count when we, when we do this? Who here is interested in learning how to work with Lua and convert templates to Lua? Please raise your hand. Okay, so that's the big room. <laughs> um, who here is interested in learning to work with Git and Garrett? Also the big room, this is gonna be difficult. Um, who here is interested in learning how to port gadgets to the new future of resource loader and gadgets 2.0. Okay, that can be one of the back rooms. Um, who here is interested in optimizing MySQL queries? SQL. Or SQL, okay, fine. Is this, is this gonna be a cultural issue? Um, <laughs> All right, um, oh, can you actually keep your hands up for that so Rachel can, can see that? Because it was slightly less overwhelming and Okay, Rachel has that. And then, um, how many of you are interested in learning how to make your code more secure and, and code securely? About the same number, I would say. Was that five? Good. <laughs> All right, um, so let me just hand it over to Eric, the Vice President of Engineering and the Deputy Director of the Wikimedia Foundation. Okay, so this is probably the uh, single biggest hackathon, or close, that we've ever organized together. Uh, I think you've already said thanks, but thanks again to Wikimedia Germany for hosting this event. Uh, it's really an amazing group of people that we're bringing together here, and it is very appropriate that this is the largest ever hackathon because there are more changes underway in the world of MediaWiki and Wikimedia-related technology than ever before in the history of our projects. Uh, this is no exaggeration. There's really a ton of very interesting stuff happening. And I just want to call out those things a little bit more explicitly and explain uh, for some of them that are not as obvious very quickly what they are uh, so you have a bit of more of an idea who you may want to talk to. So uh, one of the big projects uh, that uh, we're working on is called Wikimedia Labs uh, and it'll come up in a lot of different contexts. 
The idea is essentially to give volunteers uh, computing infrastructure for projects of various types, whether it's operations projects, media wiki extensions, what have you, to be able to host your project, to be able to support a project before you move it into a production service. So uh, labs will come up in the context of you want a place for testing an extension, you want a place to play with an idea, that's what labs is for. Um, so if you want to talk to people who are involved with labs, uh, could the folks who are involved with Wikimedia Labs please stand up, Brian Lane, Fidon, is Ryan here? Okay, Fidon is a good first point of... First point of contact for, for Wikimedia Labs. Uh, so a very exciting project. Um, the parser, uh, the MediaWiki parser hasn't been mentioned yet. I think uh, there is a project underway to actually completely uh, change the way Wikitext is parsed into HTML and other formats. That project is called Passoid. Uh, the lead developer in Passoid is Gabriel Wicke, also a longtime MediaWiki developer. Gabriel is right here. So if you're interested in the parser, come talk to Gabriel. Uh, another very exciting project are the changes in the gadgets uh, and uh, uh, user script space. Uh, those changes are essentially potentially moving uh, what you know as gadgets in Wikipedia into a central repository where they could be globally maintained, localized, more carefully uh, maintained and used in any project that finds them useful. So essentially moving from user scripts as being a purely project local thing to something that can be much more easily shared and maintained across wikis. Uh, the folks who are working on this are Ron and Timo. Ron and Timo, could you guys please stand up? So if you're interested in the future of gadgets and you're not going to make their tutorial, uh, come grab them and talk to them because uh, they're working on the future. And beyond that, uh, Git has come up already. This has been a huge change of the, uh, the way that we do our work. Uh, we're using a new code review tool called Garrett, which is widely loved. And <laughs> For values of love that mean hate. Yes, innate. Uh, so if you're interested in Git and Garrett, there are lots of people here who can help you. Uh, specifically, uh, Patrick is going to, I think, run the tutorial. Um, and then we have Rob Lanfear. Where's Rob? Rob is a good person to hassle about all things Git. <laughs> and will appropriately delegate them to others to not deal with. And uh, then the other a big, big change uh, that uh, a lot of us spent the last two days talking about, Wikidata, uh, a huge technical initiative, something that a lot of us have dreamed about and have looked forward to for a long time, essentially making structured data in Wikipedia and our other projects more manageable. Uh, Wikidata is a project uh, by Wikimedia Germany, uh, and um, most of the key developers, I think, are still here for the whole hackathon, right? Uh, so Daniel uh, and all the other Wikidata folks, could you please stand up? Right here, Wikidata, Wikidata, the Wikidata table. If you're interested in structured data in Wikipedia, talk to the Wikidata crowd. And the uh, Lure stuff has been mentioned, so what's that about? It's basically about replacing the horrible so-called language uh, that is used to define templates with an actual programming language, or at least supplementing it with a programming language to make templates more maintainable, but more importantly, to make them actually perform well. Templates are one of the things that keeps Wikipedia slow, uh, as well as our other sites, especially very widely used templates like the citation templates perform incredibly poorly. And if you load a page like Barack Obama on the English Wikipedia, it takes about 30 seconds to load uh, fresh uh, without being cached. And that's primarily because of poor template performance. And so Lua uh, scripting and other scripting languages will hopefully help with that. Tim Starling is here, uh, who is the primary architect of the Scribuntu extension. Tim, could you please stand up? Uh, if you're interested in this and you're not going to make the tutorial, uh, come talk to Tim. And I think we've covered most of the big themes, but there's really a lot of stuff going on. So I hope you have fun. I hope you learn uh, a bunch of stuff that you've never heard about before. I certainly will. Thanks, Eric. So um, now it's time for me to give the stage for about 30 seconds each. Eric, you took the mic with you, you know. Um, uh, I'm a brand, uh, let's see, Oren Bachman, Gabriel Vicka, Tobias Merlin, Merlin uh, Andrew Pearson, Harry Burt, Daniel Meacher. This is where you stand up and start lining up, actually, so that you can give your little 30 second pitches, please. <laughs> 
Um, these people are going to speak for about 30 seconds each. Someone else will time it. Um, so that you can know a taste of the kinds of things that you can work with them on this weekend when you're not in a tutorial. So go ahead and start. And just pass it to the next guy. Yep. Hello, my name is Merlin. I'm one of the Pi Wikipedia bot developers. Uh, in this weekend, we want to work on, with you on interface localization and on site-based configuration. All the configuration is currently stored in our configuration files. We don't want this. In addition, if you have any questions on writing bots, please find the guy in the ugly uh, yellow shirt uh, and say hi. This is just the person I was looking for because uh, I'm developing my first bot, which is supposed to do uh, content analytics. It's supposed to evaluate uh, articles which have been proposed for deletions and tell people what the problems are in an objective way. Uh, name of the project is uh, User Tronbot on the English Wikipedia. You can check out the UI and uh, I'd like to have any comments from anybody. Thanks. Uh, hello, I'm Toby. I'm part of the Wikidata team and I will be um, doing some automated um, UI testing using Selenium. So if anyone has experience with that, with Selenium, with Ruby, with uh, Water WebDriver, RSpec and so on, um, I would appreciate if you poke me. How you doing? I'm uh, Andrew. Um, I'm with the uh, Unblocked Request System on the English Wikipedia. Uh, we just stood up this system a couple months ago. Uh, lots of bugs on uh, Jira, so if anyone wants to help us knock some of them out, we got some new ideas for features, uh, just get with me uh, or Aaron in the back. And uh, yeah, we're, we're ready to start hacking. May I have just for a second? Yeah, you might know him better as T. Paris. And other people here that he's working with are Delta Quad and XQT, X. So just to uh, let people know your more common name. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to ask uh, Gabriel and Zebrand and Dario if they could also stand in line. Harry, here you go. Um, hi, so I'm uh, Harry. And there are two things you might want to talk to me or I hope you'll want to talk to me about over the course of the hackathon. Uh, the first is that I write the technology report for the English Wikipedia uh, signpost newspaper, uh, newsletter thing. So um, I'd be just chatting to people and hearing what, what's going on and if every, anyone wants to just, they've got an idea for something that might interest uh, our 800, 900 readers and uh, isn't being talked about. And the other thing, and I will hurry up, is that um, if there are translators and people with a translation experience, they can talk to me about translating images. Thanks. Howdy. Uh, my name is Brandon Harris. I work for the foundation, senior designer. Um, I'm basically here to help you guys out, figure things. Anything you have issues with, like in terms of design, user experience, the future, uh, just find me, let me know. I'll help you out. I'm the guy with the long hair. Hi, my name is Kai. I work for uh, Wikimedia Deutschland and I'm involved with the Render project which is uh, focused on uh, yeah, assessing the quality of articles and uh, is focused on improving the quality. So if anybody is interested in that project or wants to contribute, participate by providing tools, um, yeah, talk to me. Hello, I'm Daniel Mietjen, Wikimedian in residence on Open Science, so rather on the using end of all the technology that we have. And I'm particularly interested in getting materials from open access sources onto Wikimedia projects and on measuring how these things are being used. And uh, so if you would like to help with that, uh, I, I would welcome any interaction. Hello, I'm Dario. I'm a researcher with the foundation. I do mostly product research and experimentation on uh, new forms of engagement 
with readers and editors. And um, I'll be working probably on a, a citation data, reference data in Wikipedia, but I want to tell you that uh, uh, if, you're, if you have ideas about uh, data sets uh, that you would like to visualize or work with, uh, if you have ideas about data that you may not know where to find or that you would like to find, uh, come and talk to me and I'll give you answers. Hi, good evening. My name is uh, Sibrand. I like whiskey. <laughs> um, and I work for the foundation as a product manager for language support. Um, it's a very broad field. It touches uh, basically all parts of development. Uh, if you think that you need some expertise or some advice or have ideas with regards to language support, please talk to me. The guy in the pink shirt, uh, also tomorrow. Different shirt. but. Um, maybe on Sunday I'll wear a different color. Um, I forgot uh, Tim Alder, Colossus. Could you maybe get in the and then you're in? Would you like to? Hey, uh, I'm Jeroen. I'm a developer on the Wikidata team, and um, I'd like to spend the hackathon doing some rapid prototyping on the Wikidata project. Um, Basically, just hacking some stuff in, uh, some core code that we'll need in the next two phases, um, just to get an idea of what we'll still need, how long it will take, and what problems we might run into doing so. Okay, my name is username is Colossus, and I work on the integration of OpenStreetMap into uh, Wikipedia, and. We have this map now in many language versions, and as a better version in the German Wikipedia, we are now able to highlight uh, the object of a Wikipedia article. And But there's also a, a lot of things to do, and so please contact me if you want to work with maps. Thank you, Tim. Um, yes? I actually, I'm sorry, but I figure like if, if uh, you know, I, I wanted to limit this a little bit because I know everybody wants to get back to hacking and, and eating and so on. So if you have more ideas about sprints you want to do, look on the talk page of the Berlin Hackathon 2012 MediaWiki.org page and go ahead and put your idea there and mention your name and what you want to work on. And that's where actually Guillaume is going to be storing all of the things that were just said so you don't have to remember all 11 of them. Um, additionally, can I ask Emmanuel Engelhart and Christian Puringer to stand up or wave? Are they around? Oh, they're working off in the catering area. They're working, in fact, right now, they're working on an initial prototype of a Zim reader in Cordova QT. So if you would like to work with them using C++ and Cordova QT, they would love your help with that. Um, so uh, please go ahead and look at the talk page, put your ideas on the talk page, um, and uh, go ahead and hang out here, take the venue tour at 7, barbecue is 8 till 10, and you can hang out here until we probably kick you out at 11 p.m. unless there's like a dozen or more of you that really want to keep hacking. And then tomorrow, um, you know, there's going to be uh, hacking starting here at 10 o'clock and you can start dropping by for snacks at 9.30. Are there any big questions? I can take like one or two questions if anybody has them. No? Happy hacking, everybody. Thank you and welcome. <laughs>